that tastes like how skinny feels. It does taste really good, okay? Um, this is actually my dinner, so I'm not gonna eat too much of it, but it's really good. Mm. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Kitchen Sessions. I'm making this because I think cooking should be accessible to everyone. I think you should be able to make healthy food easily. And I think that 30 seconds in Instagram and TikTok videos are not actually enough time to show people how to do it, especially if they don't have enough experience in the kitchen. The guiding principles are, it needs to be delicious. It needs to be filling. It needs to be easy to make. It needs to be cheap and it needs to be Nutritious. This dish will be all of those things. We're going to make a something of a lean burrito bowl, chicken mince or turkey mince, you pick. And we're gonna put a pico de gallo on top and then just a Greek yogurt dressing. It's gonna be high in protein, low in calories, and it's gonna be delicious. With that, I am going to cook this meal. I'm going to show you how to meal prep four servings of this. You can do five pretty easily if you divide it by five. I'll be able to go into those details later or show them up on screen or something magical. I don't know, because this is my first episode of doing this, but it will be easy. So I'm going to get into it. Thank you for watching. I promise it will be delicious and your stomach will be satisfied or something like that. All right, what's in the bag? One kg of chicken mince, got some fresh coriander, four cans of black beans. Not gonna need all of these onions. Not gonna need all of these limes. Got some tomatoes, two chilies. These are probably really mild. I love spicy stuff. You guys use however much you want. Okay, you can see that, so let's get stuck into it. We wanna get the kettle jug boiling because we're going to boil our beans in some chicken stock and salt. Beans are not very salty. Well, they're not even slightly salty. First, we wanna drain the beans while the kettle boils. What I actually like to do is put a little bit of water into a pot when I want it to boil so that the metal of the pot actually heats up when the water from the kettle is ready to go. Very small time saver, but hey, it works. Lovely, ugly little strainer. But um, draining the bean so that we well, don't have all of that liquid, but also you remove the thing that makes your stomach go a bit funny. And when I say the stomach going funny, I just mean gassy, okay? We don't want to be gassy. I mean, maybe someone does, but... You're on your own there, pal. Once they're all rinsed, they're gonna be ready for us to throw straight into that pot once the kettle's boiled. At the same time, we wanna chop up one onion, one big onion. Need a little bit of garlic too. Two fat cloves. The water goes in like so. We'll just use all of it. So, hope you enjoyed that live action shot. Stop. Going to use one stock cube and then I'm going to add some salt on top. Sometimes these crumble really nicely and sometimes they don't. So you can just break it up. Cool, 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 cool. I'll use a fork, because why not? And salt, we want salt in there. A bit more. Get that boiling away and we can put our beans in. So I'm gonna try to do another shot for you guys. I appreciate this is probably a really weird format to watch if anyone is indeed watching. Random shit makes the dream work, man. So you can see, oh, hang on. We're in there now, and that's gonna come back to a boil. Cool, man. Onion. We want an onion because we want to cook the mince in a pot, and then we're gonna add the beans to the pot. Cool. One onion, two onions. Let's go with two onions. Do this cool thing that makes me look like I'm an awesome chef. I'm just a guy like you guys, trying to get in shape and eat the right food. But he's been doing it for a decent amount of time and maybe has some knowledge to share. You guys will be the decider of that one. Probably a good time to tell you guys that I dated a couple of professionally trained chefs in the past and they taught me some stuff. And one of those things is that it's much easier to cut an onion like that. Show you. You see? So, uh, big fan of that. Some of you might know the claw technique. That's what I'm doing. And that's what means that I don't chop my fingers off, which is great. So I'm gonna get that pot going with some heat. A little bit of olive oil. Just gonna get those onions going. Might as well get the garlic going at the same time. Mega self-conscious about being on camera. I'm talking absolute crap at the same time. <laughs> because there's only so much I can say about the food when I'm just chopping garlic. I mean, so for some context, seeing as this is the first episode, I have been cooking for myself for a long time and I wish that there was a more accessible place for filling recipes because sometimes, even though something could be 600, 700 calories, um, it might not be filling. Or maybe there are things like chicken, rice and broccoli, 500 ways. That was certainly the case 10 years ago when I started getting into fitness. I love to experiment. So if that experimentation can help you guys on your fitness journey, then I will try to be something of a shepherd. I think our oil's pretty much good to go. Reset. Onions, garlic. Mince is gonna go in the pot. We're gonna cook that down a bit and then we're gonna add the onions and the garlic in. 
Okay. Usually I love to clean as I go, but I'm filming this and that makes it harder to concentrate. For anyone who is a big fan of guys that are adequately domesticated, that's usually me, just not today. Just crushing that mince really. Turn the heat up to high by the way, and there's gonna be water that comes out of it, some water that comes out of it. So let's go on, we're gonna add onion and a garlic. While that's just getting underway, while the beans are boiling, we can start on our pico de gallo. One onion, 150 grams of tomatoes, some coriander, some lime, salt, pepper, Tabasco. Use Tabasco or this one. I've been using this hot sauce at the moment. I'll show you on a different shot. I absolutely adore this hot sauce. I don't think it gets better than that. So buy it. I'm gonna migrate these onions and garlic to my lovely little bowl here actually. Come on. Chicken mince, a little bit of a mush up. We want to chop our onion, this onion rather, really thin for the pico de gallo. We're not going to cut it at the root like we did the last one because we're chopping it, cubing it, dicing it. That's what I wanted, we're dicing it. What you want to do is get your knife and with the onion half face down, you want to take slices into it like so. So you've got these layers that you've just cut. And then what you want to do is, with it still face down, just make cuts down to the root about five millimeters um, for the non-Americans. And then just really thinly chop so that you get these tiny little pieces. I'm gonna do the other one and then I'm going to whip out my phone for my rogue uh, second camera shot and show you the kind of thickness or thinness that we're looking for. Uh, I'm just gonna break down this chicken mince again. Almost we're ready to throw our onions in. Beans boiling away and we don't need those anymore. So out of sight, out of mind. So I'm just gonna get all of that. I lie. I said I'd show you first, didn't I? So this is the kind of thinness that we're looking for. Hope that's clear, everybody. Get one of these guys and squeeze the juice into the onions so that it starts to break down the onion a bit. It'll soften it. Part two, roll your lime first. It will release the juices way better. I promise, okay? Roll that bad boy up. Try that again. See? Way easier. I think I'm in shot, right? Mm. There's a lot of water coming out of the chicken mince. So I'm gonna sh show you guys quickly. Fine. See what I mean? Lots of water and boiling along. And you guys, whoa. All right, nice. I think the onions are ready to go in there actually. Keep breaking up the mince. It's gonna need it. All right, so give that a nice big stir. Just turn it down to a medium high heat. Can't tell you why. Just go with my gut, man. Just want a bit of salt in there. Season our onions. It's rock salt. It's all I've got in at the moment. Uh, you can see that my planning is going really well. Give it another stir, and then we'll just let those onions soften. Mix that in, okay? We're gonna use all of these tomatoes. Quick wash, get any uh, gross stuff off. I know it's a good thing to do. I've got no idea what I'm cleaning off, but I'm sure I'm washing off something. So we're just gonna totally obliterate these tomatoes. So you wanna halve them, quarter them, probably eight them if they're big ones. You can use normal tomatoes. We've gone with cherry tomatoes here. Why, David? Because cherry tomatoes are delicious, and they're sweeter, and they're more flavorful, and I love them. And I swear to God, this is not a regular occurrence, but I swear Swear to God, I dreamt about cherry tomatoes last night. I don't even dream. I don't remember my dreams, but I remember dreaming about cherry tomatoes last night. Maybe I predicted the situation. I didn't actually know what I was going to cook today, so the world, the God, 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 God works in mysterious ways, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Hey, look, the main thing is, guys, you're going to have some delicious meals to help you on your fitness goals at the end of this, okay? Almost at the end of this tomato chopping hell. Actually, I find cooking really therapeutic. It's one of the reasons why I've decided to start this channel because it's actually really a joy for me. The talking rubbish constantly. Oh, look, I probably do enjoy it, let's be honest. Anyway. Tomatoes are in, in the, uh, I was gonna say ceviche, not ceviche, the pico de gallo. Mix, a little bit more salt. Did I put any salt in? I don't think I did yet. Season your meat. Don't say it, guys. Getting there. We're getting there. Do you trust me? I trust me. This. Why do I have this? That. That needs to go in. Silence while concentrate. Okay. It's probably not even going to be spicy, but it will add some flavor to it. It's kind of like a mini pepper capsicum, whatever country you're watching this in. All right. That's in. Nice one. Save the day. Just crush up that mince a little bit more if you want. You know, we're not making meatballs, baby. To give our Cool. Onion, tomato, mix a stir. What do we want next? When do we want it? Coriander. So I'm gonna go with like half of this bunch. So I'm gonna do something called a chiffonade. When I made my first Instagram TikTok video thing, I was trying to talk through different techniques and nutrition attributes and stuff like that. And I realized that you cannot get any of that out in 60 seconds. Just shut up and 
put your cooking to music and watch your 20 likes come in. So you bunch it up and you chop it fine. That's what a chiffonade cut is. So that's in there, lovely. What do we want next? We want some jalapenos, we want some lime zest, we want some lime juice, and a tiny little bit of hot sauce. Jarred jalapenos. Very shortly we'll season that. Don't worry about the beans. They can boil forever and they'll still be there. So I love spice. I don't care. I love spice, so I don't really hold back. The jalapenos do give this a really good bit of flavor, so don't skimp on them. But also, look, if you're, if you're not a big fan of the heat, just add a little bit. Just learn to love spice. You don't have one of those scoopy things that everybody who makes food online seems to have. I don't think you need it. This is a knife. Fuck me. Really starting to look like you actually want that in your food, which is a good thing. Season that a little bit. We've got to have something. This Himalayan salt and black pepper. Two and one. Can't go wrong. Give it a good stir. Skin this unfortunate soul. Buff out some of that rind. Rind? I don't know. I'm under pressure, man. I forgot what it's called. Zest. Don't need to go crazy, but do want some in there. Ta da. Last ingredient a little bit of this. It's hot, the stuff. If you're not good with spice, be nice to yourself. Look to increase your tolerance as you go on, but be nice to yourself. You only go to a Mexican restaurant and you ask for their hot sauces or you get served hot sauces or whatever. And some of that stuff just tastes Mexican. That sauce is that. So I couldn't recommend it enough. What's left? You tell me. Let's season this, okay? I'm always going back in here. Forgot to get the spices. Look, this is my first time. No one's good on their first time, okay? This stuff, guys, the chinata, always use it. Ella the dog is sitting over there and she just heard one of her Spanish ancestors. So, really heaped teaspoon because we're making four serves, okay? See that? I don't know if you can. Mmm, I can smell that. That is smelling good. I'm not gonna like do that whole taste reaction thing where you fall on the floor and feel like you've seen God, but I bet you it is gonna taste good. We want some cumin as well. Nice. I think that's more than enough, to be honest. Well, it's not more than enough. It's perfect, obviously. Woo! Turn the extractor fan on. It's hot, man. Hopefully you guys can hear me. <laughs> this will be a fucking disaster if you can't. Cool. That looks great. In fact, it looks so good. I need to show you guys. Uh, and also check the time, because I need to pick up my sister in half an hour. See that? That is smelling as good as it looks. Those beans are going to come out soon as well. Come out to play. We want a little bit of lime zest in that bad boy, okay? Just adding flavor. That's all we're doing. Baking is science, cooking is art. Sometimes I'm really winging my paintings, but they always come out all right. Even my chefy exes would agree. Oh, God, that's so good. Right, where are we at? That's done, it's done. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Hear the elevator music. Ba, 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 ba. I'll tell you what, I'm actually having way more fun than I thought. I was I was having to mentally hype myself up to do this first episode, but it's it's not that bad, you know? I can, I can see it, it's coming together. Thanks, thanks for watching one person out there. Beans. We want them in there. So take them off, drain them in your ugly colander, or maybe you're awesome and you have a not ugly one, but we're gonna get them. Give the mince and the beans a bit of a stir. So we've just got one more little thing to do, and then we're ready to put these meals together. Greek yogurt, better for you than mayonnaise by a long shot. You've got probiotics coming from the Greek yogurt, probably like, what, 25% of the calories or something? Can't run the numbers for you right now, but it's damn close to that. We'll squeeze the Life as lime. Lime, lemon, secret to just really lifting your meal sometimes. They just take it to another place. So because we're doing four serves and we're doing 30 grams of Greek yogurt per serve, I'm gonna eyeball it because I do this all the time. You guys can weigh it out if you want. You also don't have to. It's probably not gonna make or break your uh, fitness gains. And if you're just watching this because you like food, who gives a f Anyway, then we just want a splash of water, okay? Just gonna just loosen it up, make it a bit more dressy and less yogurty. Give it a mix. Don't spill it like I just did. And all we want to do with this one is add some salt and pepper. Here are my meal prep containers. Let's see yours. Bowl. I feel like it's gonna be hard to win an audience and I need to make things as pretty as possible if I'm gonna help you guys on your journey to uh, delicious food and abs or I don't know, whatever. I'll get better at this whole talking and cooking thing, I swear. But hey, look, 45 minutes for four meals. That's not bad. This is meal prep. So I'm gonna try to go with two spoonfuls. Ooh, it might be four. Ooh, I think it is four, you know? I am conscious of the fact that this is my first time. Uh, I really wanna know if you guys hated this or if you liked it. Probably a good moment to ask for you to like the video, please, if you did like it, because you're gonna be my only like. I would like to help more than just you. I think you're great, but I'm gonna do meal prep every week. Promise, one of these sessions at least once a week. I think that's worth following me, to be honest.
I don't know about you. This is the part where we put our pickle de gallo on top. I'm stoked that I came up with this idea. Really, really good macros as well. I'm gonna put that in the comments because I haven't added it up yet. I'm gonna put it somewhere in the 600 mark. Let's see how right I am afterwards. I think maybe like 55 grams of protein. Could be 60. Have a protein shake and shut up. Oh, has this been open the whole time? I'm sorry. Fuck, this is gonna look ugly. Yeah, fuck it. This thumbnail is gonna be ugly. Why did you click on it? This is gonna be absolutely delicious though, so. Coriander, let's just rip a little bit off to make it look pretty, okay? Ta-da. Hard customers to please, but um, I'm doing it. That looks great. So thank you for joining me for the first episode of Kitchen Sessions. This is uh, Lean Burrito Bowls. That's what we're gonna call it. And it is going to get you to where you wanna be physically. You are going to feel energized. It's not going to be uh, filling like a chicken, broccoli and rice thing in that it makes you feel sluggish. It's going to be filling and satisfying and not gonna be hungry uh, until you next eat or whatever. So do it. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon. Like and subscribe.